Hello, and welcome to our Band in a Box Soloist Overview. Using the Soloist feature within Band in a Box, you can create professional quality solos using real tracks or MIDI instruments in the style of your choice. There are many ways to use the Soloist feature in Band in a Box, but first, we will be going over the Select Soloist dialog. To access the Select Soloist dialog, click on the Soloist button in the toolbar and select Open Soloist Dialog to choose MIDI or Realtrack Soloist from the drop-down menu. You can also access this dialog by selecting Generate and Play a Solo in the Soloist drop-down menu at the top of your screen, or by simply pressing the Shift F4 hotkey. Over here, on the left-hand side of the dialog, we have the Soloist Type List, which lists all of the available soloists. Above the list, we have a few options for filtering the list to help you find exactly what you're looking for. The Soloist Type drop-down menu determines which type of soloists are displayed in the list, divided accordingly to the duration and feel. For example, swing or even eighths and sixteenths, as well as options for waltz. By default, this will be set to match the current style of your song. The All checkbox will display all soloists when checked. Soloists that do not conform to the Soloist Type drop-down menu will be displayed in brackets. When the All Genres box is checked, the Soloist list will include all genres. Uncheck this box to filter the list using the drop-down menu just to the right here. The Fave button will open a dialog where you can choose from the 50 most recently used soloists. The All Real Tracks button will show only soloists that are real tracks in the list. If this is selected, you can check the All Genres box to show all soloists again. The Show All button will remove any filters you have set to the list. If checked, this double time option will play the soloist in double time, meaning the soloist will play twice as many notes in the given space of time. The Best Real Tracks button will open a dialog where you can choose from a list of real track soloists that are sorted from best to worst in regard of how well they match your song style. We will go over this dialog in detail later on in this video. Just over here to the right, you can check the Show Not Available box to show any soloists that are not available but can be purchased. The Search button will allow you to type in a keyword that may be part of a soloist's name or a soloist's memo. So if I type in the word Waltz, the list will go to the next available soloist that includes the word Waltz. If you know the number of a specific soloist, you can type in that number into the Go To Number box and press the Go To Number button to select that specific soloist. This box on the top right will display the current selected soloist memo and database. Just below are the instrument and harmony settings. These settings are determined by the soloist you have chosen in the list by default, but you can choose to override these settings by selecting them. You can select a different instrument, harmony, style, or even change the instrument at a particular time within the song. Just use these clear buttons to cancel any changes you have made. Over here, we have the Soloist Mode options. Selecting Normal will instruct the soloist to play a regular solo. The Fills Percentage option instructs the soloist to play fills or noodle on the song for the user-defined period of time by entering a percentage. Selecting the Around Melody option will play the soloist in empty spaces between phrases of your melody. If this is selected and the song does not have a melody, the soloist will play normally. The Trade option will instruct the soloist to alternate between playing and not playing with a determined amount of bars. So if you were to choose 4s, the soloist will play for 4 bars, and then lay out for 4 bars, and then play for 4 bars, and so on. The First and Second option will determine if the soloist is to play in the first or the second 4 bar section of the trade-off. This option here enables the soloist wizard as you play notes on either a MIDI keyboard connected to the computer or the QWERTY keyboard, the program will play the correct notes in the style of the current soloist. This means you can play a perfect solo every time, simply by pressing any key on your MIDI keyboard or the QWERTY keys. The custom button launches the generated solo for a specific range of bars dialog. This allows you to set the range for the solo. You can choose where in the song your solo will start, 
how long the solo will play for, and whether or not to overwrite the existing solo in that range. These load and save settings allow the saving and loading of soloist settings. Enable these checkboxes if you wish to load and save these settings with a song. Force to number of choruses allows you to set a song to a definable number of choruses, so that there are enough choruses for everyone to take a turn soloing. This box allows you to quickly decide how many choruses you would like Band in a Box to generate. By using the Solo Which Choruses setting, you can select which choruses you would like the soloist to solo over. You can choose Yes Solo, No Do Not Solo, or to only solo if there is no melody. Press the All Solo button if you wish the soloist to play over everything. Press the Melody and Solo button to have the melody play the first chorus, and the soloist come in in the second chorus. Then have the melody play the tune out on the last chorus. The Mute Melody in the Middle checkbox, if checked, will mute the melody in the middle chorus to make room for the soloist. This is great for songs where the melody repeats itself throughout every chorus. When musicians solo for a song, the solo is typically influenced by the melody as well as the chords. Band in a Box can also allow the melody to influence the type of solo generated by its soloist feature. The result is a much better solo generated for the song. A strength percentage button allows you to control how much solo will be influenced by the melody. Choose the melody influence percentage and one of the several presets to control the type of influence. The edit button launches the soloist editor dialog where you can make your own or modify an existing soloist. The more button will open the more soloist and melodist settings dialog. Here, we can set our MIDI velocity information as well as improve the soloist by using larger soloist files and creating longer phrases. Now that we have gone over the soloist dialog, let's take a look at it in action. I currently have our pearly jazz waltz demo song loaded, so let's take a quick listen. Sounds pretty good. So now, I will open up the soloist dialog. I have the list set to display all soloists with no filters, but I will check the all real tracks button because I would like a real track solo in my song. I want the solo mode to be normal, and I think I would like a sax solo, so I will scroll down. And we can see soloist number 415 is a jazz sax solo with a similar tempo to my song. So let's try that out. So I'll just press OK, and let Band in a Box generate the solo. And now you can hear our song has a great jazz saxophone soloist. Sounds pretty good. As mentioned earlier, Another way to add a soloist to your song would be to use the Select Best Real Tracks dialog. This dialog can be accessed by pressing the Soloist button and choosing the menu option Add Best Real Tracks Soloist to the Soloist track. Or from the Best Real Tracks button in the Select Soloist dialog. This list is automatically sorted with the best real tracks to fit the current style of your song at the top. So you can see here we have all the jazz waltz reel tracks listed with the closest tempos at the top. If we scroll down in the list, we can see the reel tracks begin to have specific characteristics that do not match our current style. See here genre doesn't match, genre and feel don't match, or time signature doesn't match, and so on. So our best options would be in this first group of reel tracks at the top of the list. Above the list we have our filter options, where we can type in keywords or filter the list by type, feel, time signature, and more with this new filter button. The show all button will reset any filters we have set to this list. To the right, we have the memo for the current selected reel track. Below, we have some time-based options such as halftime, double time, and triple time. You can even create a medley of multiple reel tracks. The choose from favorites button allows you to choose from a list of recently used reel tracks. 
We can narrow down the type of reel tracks to include in the list, such as background, soloist, and variations. And below, we have our play controls. We can audition any of the reel tracks in the list by double clicking them. Since we already have a sax solo, let's try out an organ. The OK button will select the highlighted reel track but does not regenerate the song. The OK and Generate will select and generate. So let's press OK for now. Now just to be clear, the Select Best Reel Tracks dialog is not only to be used with the soloist. You can also use this option to find best reel tracks for any other mixer track as well. Just right click on the track and choose Select Best Reel Tracks. But since we have already selected a new reel track for our soloist track, I'll just press cancel and then generate and play our song. Now we have a new great organ soloist. Sounds pretty good. Thanks for watching our Band in a Box soloist overview. Have fun.